Hey everyone, in this video, I will demonstrate how to upgrade from Ubuntu 24.10 to Ubuntu 25.04, also known as Plucky Puffin. Now, as you know, at this time, Ubuntu 24.10 has reached its end of life and it did so on the July the 10th, 2025. And as a result, it's recommended to upgrade to the latest release, which is Ubuntu 25. 0.04 to continue enjoying security updates and the latest features. Now here with me I have an instance of Ubuntu 24.10 and I can confirm this from the terminal by running the command hostname ctl and hit enter. So as you can see from the output we are running Ubuntu 24.10. Alternatively you can check the OS release file and hit enter. So as you can see we are running Ubuntu 24.10. 0.10, also known as Oracular Oreo. Now, with that out of the way, let's head back to the graphical update process. So I'm going to minimize this terminal. Now, the first step in upgrading to Ubuntu 25.10 is ensuring that your system is up to date. And the way we do this graphically is by using the software updater tool. Now, the software updater tool scans for available updates from the official Ubuntu repositories and other configured software sources. And keep in mind that the updates here include security and system updates as well as updates for installed software applications. So once the updates are found, it notifies the user and provides details about the updates and this includes the size and a list of packages being updated. And the user can now choose to install the updates which may include operating system updates, applications and other software packages. So usually when you boot into your system, you will find this notification pop-up from the software updater. And this will notify you that the system has pending updates. So you can click here to collapse this to see the list of updates. Okay, so here you can see the list of software updates. All right. Now, since we want to get underway, you need to install to click install now. So here I'm going to click install now. So this will check the updates and start updating the system. All right. So you can click on details here to collapse and see the progress of the packages being updated. And this might take a while. So at this point, I'm going to fast forward the video. All right. Now, as you can see, the system update is now complete and all the software packages have been updated to their current versions okay so as you can see here we are now being prompted to restart in order to finish installing the updates okay so what you need to do is to click on restart now and before i do so uh, the other way of launching the software updater is by searching for it using the application manager and simply coming here and typing software updater so this is what you have here okay so there are two ways of doing this so you can either wait for ubuntu to notify you of pending updates the way we have just seen or you can simply manually click on the software updater and just follow the set the steps that i've just demonstrated all right so for now we are going to restart our system so at this point i'm going to click on restart now okay so at this point i'm just going to pause the video and resume once I've restarted into my system. So the system has successfully rebooted and now we can begin the upgrade process. So once again, there are two ways of doing this. You can wait for Ubuntu to notify you that an upgrade is available or alternatively, you can upgrade from the software updater application manually. So in this case, we are going to search for software updater and click on it. So here on the search bar, search for software updater. And as you can see, it's this selection here. So I'm going to click on this. And as you can see, the software updater pop-up is now being displayed here and it will check for the availability of a new release. And as you can see here, software updates are no longer provided for Ubuntu 24.10. And now you're being notified to upgrade to Ubuntu 25.04, right? So at this point, we are going to commence the upgrade. And now I'm going to select or click on the upgrade button here to commence the upgrade. So here I'm going to authenticate. 
and once you have authenticated you'll see the release notes window here okay so here you can see the release notes for ubuntu 25.04 so ensure you go through the documentation on your own free time so this moment i'm going to once again click the upgrade button so as you can see now the upgrade will begin and throughout the upgrade process you will be prompted to take action all right so be sure to read through what each dialog is asking all right so this will take a bit of time so be patient as the upgrade proceeds so i'll be fast forwarding and i'll be pausing to take action once prompted by a dialog action so at this point you'll see this notification here so the upgrade assistant provides you a summary of the packages that are going to, rem to be removed and installed as well as the ones that are going to be upgraded so as you can see here five packages are going to be removed 74 new packages will be installed and 1153 packages are going to be upgraded so that's a total of 1.747 gigabytes which is equivalent to 1747 megabytes and the download will take about 14 minutes with my connection all right so these statistics will of course vary in your case depending on the number of software updates right so at this point i'm going to commence the upgrade by clicking the start upgrade button all right and here you're notified that the lock screen has been disabled and will remain disabled throughout the upgrade process so here i'm just going to close this out and now as you can see the upgrade process is continuing so at this point i'm just going to let the upgrade continue and fast forward the video so at some point you'll be asked whether you want to restart services during package upgrades without asking so at this point i'm just going to check this and click next so as you can see at this point the upgrade is installing the upgrades and this will continue taking some time so i'm just going to continue fast forwarding the video so at some point the upgrade assistant will prompt you to remove obsolete packages and just to list the packages you can just click on the details option here so here we're going to collapse this to see the packages that are no longer needed okay so you can scroll through the list of the obsoleted packages okay so in my case i'm just going to remove the obsolete packages since i no longer need them so i'm just going to hit the remove button and finally you'll get this pop-up informing you that you need to restart the system to complete the upgrade and at this point i'm going to pause the video and we'll resume once the reboot has completed and now the system has successfully rebooted so now let's log in to a new ubuntu 25.04 system so i'm gonna click on this and then authenticate using my password and there you go so as you can see on your screen we have successfully migrated from ubuntu 24.10 to ubuntu 25.04 and we can confirm this from the terminal so i'm gonna come here and select terminal and then we can check the version so once again i'm going to run the command hostname ctl and hit enter so this time around you can see now you're using ubuntu 25.04 similarly you can check the os release file so you can run this command cut etsy os release and there you go as you can see we are now running ubuntu 25.04 also codenamed plucky puffin all right so that's it guys for this video in this video i've shown you step by step how to upgrade from ubuntu 24.10 to ubuntu 25.04 in a few simple steps i hope you found this insightful and helpful and in case you did please don't forget to leave a like and smash the subscribe button so that you can continue getting more of these linux tutorials so that's it guys for this video see you in the next video